Hello everyone, how are you? Uh, welcome to the login media panel of the social proxy. I'm going to show you exactly how to use it, why it's so good, and how it's going to make your life, life much more easier. Uh, the login panel, of course, of the social proxy. Um, so yes, so as you know, when you need to add an account into Jarvi, you need to send a code for the client, right? No matter if it's like Instagram account, uh, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and you need to send the code, so the client will send you the code it gets on the email or the SMS, right? Now, let's be honest, this process can take um, a while. Sometimes the client is busy, sometimes you're busy. There is also like some time difference and so on. So uh, the social proxy actually creates an awesome, awesome, awesome tool for all of, our, for all of us, the Jarvi agencies and people who are working with Jarvi on client accounts to make this life and to make this process easier. This is the result. Now, if you want to see how it's actually happening and what you need to do, let me show you now. It's very easy. So first, you must have, of course, um, at least one proxy of the social proxy. OK, I'm not going to tell you now about like the social proxy and why it's a great company and why you should use that. If you're doing Jarvi, I'm guessing you know this company. If no, so just Google it. See the live we made with Tal, the co-founder, and understand why it's very important to use 4G proxies and especially the social proxy with all of the understanding about what is Jarvi, how to use it, and why it's all important. And let's go back. So after you purchase at least one proxy of the social proxy, you also have a code discount if you want. It's on the description. Um, yes, so you need to put your details over here to make sure you have your first name, last name, the email you want to get a, the account into, a, the password, of course, a, the company name, the company website, and a logo, OK? So let me change it over here. Yeah. Whoops. And if you don't know how I got actually to this menu, you just need to go into your profile over here. This is my beautiful photo. And to click on profile, and then you go to my information. Whoops. Then you choose your logo. The recommended, as you can see, it's 200 on 83 pixels. It's the best. And you need to put your address. Cool. Now to do this, you just click on Save Changes. Uh, sorry, this is not my URL. Oops. Yeah, and it's fine now. That should work. Cool. This is the first step we did. As you can see, it took me maybe one minute. After you did that, you click over here where it's writing media tools, okay? Over here, you actually have um, a few cool features that uh, the social proxy released recently. Um, one of them is the media login panel, this cool link over here. Another one is the down detector to let you know on real time when Instagram is down, you will get an email. It actually took it every few minutes. And you can also schedule a meeting with one of their experts, OK, um, about your Jarvi issues and settings and so on. So this is very cool. And yes, so let's go back to the media login panel. You click on Start, and then you just select a proxy. So now please don't look about this process. Sorry, <laughs> after you choose one of your proxy, you click on connect to make sure the login will connect to the proxy. I will explain what's actually going to happen now. In a second, when you will see this, wait, 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 I want to show you this online. And whoops, have a look, sorry. This is your media login panel. So as you can see, it's writing my website, a domain, drjarvi.medialoginpanel.com. If it will be your website, it will be your website, .medialogin.com. Cool. As I mentioned, you have to choose one proxy. I recommend to use a proxy that you are not using on your client's accounts, OK? The best will be to get a dedicated proxy only for the logins, OK? This is what I think will be the best. So you are not actually linking the account um, and using, after you logged in the account, a different proxy. Uh, so this is my recommendation, OK? Then you click over here. And as you can see, I can actually choose what I want to log in to Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, or LinkedIn. So let's say I have a new client and client on Instagram and I want him to connect to the platform and to add his account into Jarvi. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click over here on Instagram. Then I put the email address of the account. So let's do my account. And I click login. And I'm look what's going to happen. It's extremely cool. 
Now you can see you may get an email that someone logged into your account. That's perfectly normal. Login successful and email has been sent. Cool. Are you able to see what's going to happen now? Whoops, this is not the right one. Cool, now have a look. You will get an email like that. It will take a few minutes. Don't be stressed. It will be from a V, Instagram, cookies, and the username and the password. Now, this is the user cookies of my account, okay? If someone wants to hack my account, feel free. And this is the file you get. You need to download this file. It's like a text file, okay? Now, put it on my desktop. And basically, I can actually uh, copy this file into the VPS. Now, if your Jarvi is staying on your computer, on your PC, you can do it on your PC. But if your Jarvi is actually in, on a VPS, you need to copy this file. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go into my server. This is my VPS. Okay, now if you don't know how to use a VPS and how to work with a VPS, you're welcome to check um, one of the other videos on the channel. Cool, sorry about the mess, but I just paste it over here. Okay, imagine it's everything organized. <laughs> and, and then you go to here, to the social profile, and you click on Add Profile. Click on Add Profile as well. And I'm going to give it a name. This will be at the um, Instagram. This is the name I want to give it. Cool, 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 cool. And um, my username is at the like that and I'm going as well to add it to a tag before to sorry to a proxy before I'm going to use um to add account into Java because I don't want to add it on the VPS IP so I'm going to go to the proxy manager okay cool so I'm going to add it to a uh, this a uh, a uh, this proxy over here of the social proxy Ignore the temporary lock of this account. It's like an OnlyFans account. Uh, there is 11 accounts over here, but actually if you would see, there is also some other social platforms. So there's like something like eight uh, Instagram accounts over here. I can add maximum 10. So I'm going to add my own account over here and I click on add. Then I make sure the proxy is verified. I click on verify proxy and I go back to the social profile and I can put the password as well over here if I want, but I, you don't have to put a password actually. Sorry, so after a, you did it and you added the proxy over here, you can give it, a, of course, the tag to the account. Then you can scroll all the way down. Of course, after you fix the settings, I will just go with this one over here and this one. And I'm going to click on a import and I'm going to choose my account. Let's make search. Adi, and this is my own account. I just edit, I click on open, and you will see over here it's actually imported. Now what I'm going to do is click on browse embed and wait for the magic. Wait for the magic. And it's coming. Boom, the account is verified and working on Jarvi without any need to do any password reset, any to, to send anything to your client, nothing at all. So that means basically that now you can actually use this kind of media login panel. It's free to all. Well, if you're a client of the social proxy, so you're going to pay extra for that. And you can just send it to your clients, put it on your website. Everything will be automatically easy life, easy Jarvi, and have a lot of fun. I hope this video helps you. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And thank you. Bye-bye, guys.